Bordentown. I'm here with Renee from Low Light. Renee, thanks for being here. No problem. In listening to your songs and thinking about the lyrics, I noticed that you uh, often come back to this idea of wandering. Mm -hmm. In Bones, the, the, the chorus of that song is wander on your way mm -hmm. with, what is it? Wander, wander on, on your way with me. Yeah. yeah like a ghost. Mm -hmm. Like a ghost among the bones. Among the bones. You have, in Waves, you wandered out too far, mm -hmm. uh, yet you're always near. Then you have in Dark and Lonesome, it's about wandering. You right. don't necessarily use the word wandering. But then you even have a song called Why, Why Wander, Wander <laughs> right? So yeah. this, this keeps popping up. And um, I was curious uh, whether you feel that the characters in your songs are uh, wandering. Are they, are they experience, like, experiencing the freedom that comes with aimless wandering, or are they lost? Probably a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Yeah. Um, you know, it depends on the song, and I do think that there is that duality to it, like being restless and kind of moving on. You know, there's something freeing about that, and there's also something kind of like a bummer, you know, like you're not rooted, you don't really have a place. Um, so really, depending on the song, I'll either explore one or the other, or both, you know, there's mm -hmm. certain songs. That song, Why Wander, it kind of started off as like, the character in that one, it's kind of the person who's at home, like waiting for that other person who's out there somewhere. Um, yeah. And at first it was kind of like a fuck you song, like I just want to run away and do my own thing and fuck you. And then as I wrote the song, I kind of felt more empathy for this person at home. And so like the last verse is sort of like they're just kind of lonely in this house. And you know, so there's a duality to it. Yeah. You know? So yeah, because you, you talk a lot about running away. Mm -hmm. And I guess I was interested in whether your characters are running towards something. Maybe. Or, or if they're <laughs> running away, or if you were even aware, you right. know, of, of where of where these characters were moving, and and if there is a difference between, you know, this uh, aimless wandering and uh, being without purpose, or mm -hmm. it, you know, because there's sort of a Zen quality there, right? But then there can also be this darkness of being of being lost, right? And, uh, and I was curious, sort of where you stood and, and maybe if, if where you felt you were in your own life in right. relation to those concepts. Right. Um, most of the characters, I would say, do not have any kind of destination. Mm -hmm. And I think I relate to that. I mean, that's probably coming from a personal place. Um, you know, I try not to make my songs like therapy. Like, I'm not trying to, like, dump all of my wells of, you know, issues or problems onto the world so that they can bring them back to me and go, oh, mm -hmm. you know. But um, I think there's something personal in that, like, there's a, was it Roger Waters said something about, um, you know, you spend your whole life waiting for, you spend your whole childhood waiting for your life to happen, and then one day you wake up and you realize it already is. And I relate to that. Like, 
what's the destination, what's the point? There really isn't one necessarily. You can spend your whole life trying to reach something and never get there. And I think never getting there is okay. So you're still you're still wondering. Still wondering. Yeah. Okay with it. You yeah. Know. But I feel like most people are, right? I think so. I think so. I think that's probably true. Right. A lot of your songs are also about, we were talking about (coughs) this idea of wandering or being on the road, and the sort of, the the implication there also is that an implied subject would also be home. Mm -hmm. And uh, so where do you call home now? Do 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 you feel like you found a place where you're comfortable and that you fit in? Um... And what does is, what is the concept of home mean to you? That's an interesting question. I, well, I live in uh, Ocean Grove right now, which is right below Asbury Park. Um, and to a certain extent, I feel home in that there's just, you know, a bunch of weirdos like me kind of hanging around, and I feel like there's people around kind of get where I'm coming from. Um, but do I feel home? I don't know. It's funny. Uh, I like living there. Mm-hmm. Um, but Tony, who just went down to Nashville, just, like, packed his car uh, with couple of things he needed, mostly guitars, and just went, and there's something so appealing about yeah. that to yeah. me, you know, so for now I'm okay, but, you know, we'll see, Yeah. you know, because I sort of have in the back of my head that wouldn't be a bad thing. It seems so. like you have a restlessness. Yeah, I'm that, the most restless person I know, actually. Com- I mean, yeah. it comes through in, in what you're writing about mm-hmm. and the way you're approaching uh, the song. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Right, I right. was just curious, you know, where that, where that comes from. Right, you know. yeah. The, the final thing that I was noticing coming up a lot in your songs was whiskey. Oh, yeah. You, you mentioned it. You mentioned it earlier. And uh, I was curious what whiskey represents to you. What, because it seems like you're use, you use it in a poetic way. You right. have this line of a whiskey river. Right, right. You know, so, so you're not just using it as like a prop for these people who are just having a drink. There's, right. a, there's a, sim- a symbolism there. Mm-hmm. And so I was curious what whiskey means to you. You know, whiskey... It's kind of a, it's definitely a songwriting tool for sure. I think, you know, boozing in general, kind of wiping your brain clean of whatever problems, you know, it's, that's what it does in life and that's what it does in song too, I would say. Yeah, it's a tool that just like, you know, the wandering and um, you know, other themes, lonerism. Yeah, yeah, you know. there seems like abandonment. Is right, like maybe right. Thing that pops up. Yeah, I spend a lot of time alone, but I was, I've always been mostly comfortable with that like I can just be on on my own almost all the time and be kind of okay yeah and then you know when I'm really like all right now I need to talk to people and I have to get back in the world now now I have the tools to kind of do that like the social skills but um you know it's got its pros and its cons but you know <laughs> cool we'll keep wandering yeah, yeah. thank you <laughs> thank you for uh for doing this yeah thanks for having us all right so we're gonna go check back with low light uh, at the carriage house Thank you. 